hi everyone so i come back with another tutorial this is question uh five from tutorial sheet two yeah so um please kindly subscribe to my channel yeah so that you don't miss out other videos that i'm going to be sending so we have this question five which says f of x is equal to 2x plus 3 and g of x is equal to 3x minus 5 and then our first question there is telling us to find f of g or i mean f of g inverse of x so these three uh questions here are totally different so what you need to do is first of all according to mathematics you first have to start to uh, by dealing with what is in the brackets and then you come outside so meaning we are first going to find f of g and then we come and find the inverse of that function that we are, that is going to be our result okay so our first question here is asking us to find f of g of f of g inverse of x or let me just do this so before we find f of g inverse of x we first have to find what is in the brackets there so meaning we ha we first have to find f of g of x before we e before we find the inverse function so how do we do that first so in f where there's x we're going to put g in f where there's x we put g so in f so in f we have 2 where there's x we put g our g is 3x minus 5 so these are called composite functions okay so this is what we have so we're going to have 6x minus 10 and then we have plus 3 this side okay and then from there so meaning our g of x i mean our f of g of x is equal to 6 x minus 7 so now we find the inverse of this that is our answer to that question so to find now f of g inverse of x we are going to find the inverse of that so yeah we are going to find the inverse of f of g so before i write this so before i write this let me just do that let me so first the first steps that we need to follow are just those same steps that we have been following when finding the inverse function so meaning we equate this function to what to y so we're going to say y is equal to 6x minus 7 and then we make x the subject of the formula so we're going to say 6x remains this side and then we take our 7 our negative 7 to the other side of the equal sign we're going to have positive 7 we divide by 6 both sides yeah we remain with x being equal to y plus 7 over 6 y plus 7 over 6 so our f of g inverse of x our f of g inverse of x will now just be equal to what is y there we put x so we're going to have x plus 7 over 6 so this is our solution so we now quickly move on to the uh, next question so this is the solution for this question so we have to keep this I, I, f I, oh sorry we can't keep it i thought it's going to be used uh, in either b or c but unfortunately we, we are not going to use it anywhere there so we can erase everything so this is our solution for the first part eh? we move on to the second part we deal with what is in the brackets there so first of all we're going to find f inverse and then we find g inverse after finding g inverse and f inverse that's when we now find uh, uh the 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 what's this the combination of the two so f inverse of x so according to me when i look at that uh, function f inverse of x 
is just nothing but x uh, minus 3 over 2 and then g inverse of x so g inverse of x will just be nothing but equal to uh, x plus 5 x plus 5 over 3 so you can solve this on the separate uh, answer uh, on your separate uh, what's this yeah you can solve it on your separate uh, paper and then see if what I've found here is correct okay so we now combine the two functions to find f inverse of g inverse of x so to find f inverse of g inverse of x let me just write this properly okay so this is going to be equal to so f inverse of g inverse of x is going to be equal to you you use the two functions now to find it so in f inverse where this x we put g inverse so we have x plus 5 over 3 then minus 3 over 1 then everything over 2 yeah so we simplify this we're going to have uh, we simplify this we're going to have or oh, let me just write it this side okay so we simplify this we're going to have the common denominator there will be 3 3 into 3 and you multiply with everything on top there you still remain with th those things and then 1 in 2 3 is 3 3 times uh, 3 you get 9 and then this has been divided by 2 so we're going to get something like this so x uh, 5 minus 9 you get negative 4 over uh, 2 when you divide 2 into this function there you get 6 as your denominator there so the, f the final function here that we want is x minus 4 over 6 so this is going to be our solution for this question for B let us quickly move on to the last question which is C so C you find G inverse and then in G inverse where there is X you put uh, you put G inverse again so don't get confused these are simple functions so our g inverse we know to say g inverse just by looking at it g inverse just by looking at g inverse here you are going to have uh g inverse just by looking at it you are going to have uh, you are going to have g inverse is going to yeah it's going to it's, it's going to be uh, this one is going to be x mm, oh sorry it's going to be yeah x it's going to be x and then plus it's going to be x plus 5 and then over 3 it's going to be x plus 5 and then over 3 so this is our g inverse so in g inverse where there is x we put uh, in g inverse where there is x we're going to put g inverse again so this is what is going to be our outcome so where this x we put 
uh, this okay so we're going to have plus five and then everything divided by yeah so plus five and then everything again divided by three so yeah this is how it's going to be and then apart from that what you do here you just have to find the common denominator there then you simplify everything how we, how can this be simplified so we're going to have x plus 5 plus 3 times 5 there 3 times 5 there is going to give you 15 and then everything divided by 3 and then everything again divided by 3 meaning when you simplify this further you can you are going to get uh, x uh, x plus 20 over 3 divided by 3 which is just the same as x plus 20 and then everything divided by 9 everything divided by 9 all right so this is the solution for the last question here which is uh c this is the solution for c so thank you very much for watching uh, today's tutorial kindly just subscribe to the channel so that even next time as i'm going to be uh, solving the next questions you don't miss out so that you receive notifications whenever that i'm live and uh, every time um uh, doing uh, every time i'm solving any uh, tutorial question so kindly click on the button which says subscribe yeah and then you enjoy the videos all right see you next time see you in the next tutorial video shalom shalom